Both grew up within three miles of the tiny patch of Nicollet County they claimed for their own. With the barn where they milked their cows and the farmhouse in which they raised all seven of their kids. They didn't venture very far. The children of Bob and Kareen Johnson, who lived 68 years together and died 33 hours apart. One plus one equals one. <laughs> together they were one person. Bob's decline started first from cancer, but Kareen joined him in the hospital with congestive heart failure. He 88, she 87. And still saying, oh, yeah, hey. oh, I love you. When mom passed, they pulled a curtain between the two beds. But he just stared at the curtain on the other, where mom was on the other side. I said, um, mom's gone. There's a couple of tears in his eyes, and I believe in the God was sending him a message. I'm a cancer doctor. Sort of thought he had a few weeks, and it was kind of uncanny. As soon as mom died, he went downhill and died in a day. It's hard to imagine it's a coincidence. Bob had always put Kareen first. So it was only fitting that um, in the end he waited for mother to go first and then, um, and then he passed away. I think we all fretted about what would happen when one of them went and how, how would the other one survive. And <laughs> their plan was to, to not have us to worry about that. 33 hours apart. But I, I think we all know that they're in a better place. Bob and Kareen Johnson left this earth together. They went on their terms. How could anything be better than that?